Hey, what is up everybody? Yes, I return to your phone, your computer, your TV, your tablet, your laptop. I don't know what you're watching me on, but welcome back. It's me, it's Malcolm. This is a sweet bucket hat. It's a sweet bucket hat. And today, I have Mr. Potato Head uh, once again because it's 11 months into a global pandemic and I'm losing my mind. So Mr. Potato Head is my co-host, kind of, but not really. Anyway, how are y'all doing today? Before I even get into this video anymore, just please make sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell so you do not miss another video. Mr. Potato Head is going to be chilling over there for the rest of the video. And let's get into it. If you haven't been on here in a while, I have already talked about this situation, but only in the beginning. And I've actually let it rest for a couple days because I wanted to see what would happen. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm obviously talking about uh, Trisha Paytas when she called out Shane Dawson, Ryland Adams, Jeffree Star, uh, basically did like kind of like a content nuke, if you, uh, if you will, just basically exposing everybody because she was just so fed up with how Shane and Ryland treated her and also the fact that she's just done with Jeffree Star like she never wants to be friends with him ever again so I've already covered that in three videos but I'm gonna talk about what happened after that so basically Ryland Adams seems to have taken the forefront of trying to not debunk, but just trying to deflect off of Shane Dawson in a way that's so cringe, it's so horrible, it's so awful, it's so dumb, to the point where, like, there, there's no way that you, there's no way that Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star don't have some kind of contract together, because how in the world, how in the world are you just gonna throw away that friendship? I'm talking about Shane Dawson now. How in the world are you gonna throw away a 12-year friendship for Lord Voldemort and... And also, it seems like Jeffree Star is trying to, like, leave Shane Dawson. So basically, at the end of the day, it seems like Shane Dawson is not really going to have anybody except Ryland. Now, um, there's a bunch of videos on that. Um, uh, there's way too many to link, so I'll just say some names. Peter Mon, Dustin Daly, Nick Snyder, um, T-Spill, Spill Sesh. Um, I think True Sleuth also did some videos on the situation. So any of them, I will like tell you to go that direction because they do have videos, uh, like they do constant updates because they're like full-time drama channels and I am not because even though I am monetized, I don't make really any money. I've gotten like what, one paycheck off of YouTube and that was like for after a year of grinding. So. Ryland Adams and I have a problem with Ryland Adams for so so many reasons one is he seems like a snake and I'm saying that I'm saying that in the nicest way possible I could say other words about Ryland Adams but um, YouTube would block my video so I'm just gonna keep it at he's a snake and he's a liar so what did Ryland Adams really do is what you're wondering so Ryland Adams um, apologized to Trisha Paytas yeah mm -hmm. Did he apologize though? Because it was literally for like five minutes on his SIP podcast that he has on YouTube. Um, also the fact that he blocked comments, turned off the like to dislike ratio on like a bunch of his videos because he got tired of the negativity. And I don't know why anybody hasn't pointed this out yet because maybe I just noticed too many things. Um, Riley Adams didn't even like put anything about Trisha Paytas in the title so people wouldn't even know that he was trying to apologize to Trisha Paytas. Here's the problem. The SIP podcast that Rylan Adam does with Lizzie, I hope Lizzie distances herself from Rylan immediately. Not even like gradually, just like be like, yo, I'm gonna do a podcast by myself. That's all I'm gonna say about Lizzie. She seems very nice. Um, even though she has no direct correlation to Trisha Paytas and she apologized better than Riley and Adams ever could, which should tell you everything you need to know about Riley and Adams and how he handled this whole situation. Um, uh, I'm not the first person to mention this. Peter Mon actually mentioned this first. So, um, like I said, go to his channel and any of the dra other drama channels I've already mentioned. Here's the problem. The SIP podcast, right? The SIP podcast has 166,000 subscribers as of right now. Um, they actually lost like, I wanna say 1,000, 2,000 so far because a lot of people just 
they hate Riley Adams now and also Shane Dawson. Uh, some people actually are only staying for Lizzie. So if Lizzie goes, Ryland really has nothing to talk about. He has no co host And honestly, who would work with him at this point? Uh, probably Morgan, but Morgan's dealing with her own drama because she also got caught in some drama, but this isn't about Morgan Adams right now. 166,000 subscribers, right? Remember, Trisha Paytas used her main channel and called Ryland and everybody else out. Trisha Paytas has like, if I'm wrong, then whatever. But she has like 2 million subscribers, right? So, Rylan Adams has a main channel, which he got most of his fame, if not all of his fame, off of Shane Dawson. So like, pretty much Rylan Adams fans are Shane Dawson fans, okay? Rylan Adams' main channel has over 4 million subscribers. So you mean to tell me, Mr. Ryland Adams, you could not, like, get the balls to record just a straightforward Trisha Paytas, I am so sorry, on your main channel? You want to know why? Because if your fans knew how trash you were and how badly you treated Trish and just how conniving and just deflective that you were, if you posted on your main channel and all your fans saw the type of person that you were, you would lose way more subscribers than you're already losing. But that's just me. So I, I find it weird that you use your smaller channel, which is your podcast channel, didn't even say anything about the apology in any of like the community posts or anything. Just a quick five minute segment like, oh Trish, I am so sorry. And it sounded so sarcastic to the point where I'm like, I, I, I'm very sarcastic myself, but it just felt like so not genuine. You didn't care, obviously. And that should just kind of tell you everything you need to know about Riley Adams. And I know you're probably like, well, did Shane Dawson do anything? Well, Shane Dawson kind of did do everything if you haven't been picking it up. Shane Dawson's silence is his answer if you haven't picked that up yet. So, where are we now? Now, we are, I don't even know anymore. I, like, like I don't care about this situation, but I do have a problem with, like, saying mean and nasty things, or, you know, when friends come to you and they're just like, hey, I'm going through something, and then, like, like they don't believe you like that kind of stuff does trigger me because I myself have also gone through that kind of situation not to the scale obviously um this is like next level like this is like high school drama but like magnified times 10 which is why I did a Mean Girls video you should check that out because it's hilarious Ryland Adams does not care he likes to silence the critics because what it is about influencers and YouTubers, if they're not a real YouTuber, they'll turn the comments off, which Rylan Adams did a lot. He also did this thing on Twitter, which is like a new feature where you post something, but you can only have like people that you mention reply. So basically you can literally say anything and like you can make to where nobody can reply to you. They can quote to you, which a lot of people did, where it's just like, Oh, you're silencing us. Oh, that's cool. You see what you really are, Rylan. Things like that. And what makes it disappointing to me is, like, you, you don't get it. And that's kind of sad. Like, you, Shane Dawson and Rylan Adams were probably one of the most loved YouTube couples. And I'm just being honest. They were one of the most loved YouTube couples besides... Um, Charlie and Allie, and if you don't know who that is, that's like old, old, old YouTube. Like, if you don't know who CTFXE is, you're not gonna know that reference. So, probably one of the most beloved YouTube couples, and Trisha was seen as a villain for the longest time, and it seems like the roles have reversed. Yes, I know Trisha Paytas has a past. I know, I know. But, I will give her credit for one thing, it does seem like she's growing slowly but surely um this isn't a 
validation for anything that she's done so don't take it like that but Rylan and Shane are probably one of the most hated people on YouTube now do they still have a following absolutely absolutely they still have like their diehard fans are just gonna stay with them until the very end but now you see that people are flocking towards Trisha Paytas, especially with the Frenemies podcast, because I haven't watched it myself, but a lot of people do love their, like her and Ethan Klein's dynamic, and a lot of people actually like the Frenemies podcast. It started off as a thing, which I think it was supposed to be like a kind of a joke, and then it got so popular that they kept it going. So we have, like, it's a wrestling term, it's a face turn. So Trisha Paytas used to be a heel, now she's a face, and Shane and Riley used to be faces and now they're heels, so the roles have really reversed. That is something I thought I would never ever say in my life, but you can literally see by Riley's actions, and you don't even need to see Shane's actions, because Riley basically speaks for Shane Dawson at this point, and I wouldn't be surprised if Shane Dawson is telling Rylan to say these things or try to do damage control before Shane makes his comeback that Trisha Paytas already hinted at in her video a couple weeks ago. So, what do I think is gonna happen? Um, I don't know. Oh, oh also, by the way, um, you can't delete comments on Instagram. So I was able to pull up some uh, Instagram comments from Rylan announcing his newest episode of The Sip, which was about his news getting leaked again. So I'll just post some right there for you. You see straight down comments. Basically, nobody's buying this BS anymore. It seems like a deflection tactic. It seems like a deflection tactic. Like, I, I, I was trying to figure out why Rylan Adams was like trending. And then somebody posted the picture and I didn't want to see it. And then I saw it and I was just like, why is this a thing? Why? Just why? And also, you, people don't care. Like, people don't care. Honestly, people do not care. Riley and Adams just, he, he kind of ruined everything for Shane, if you want to think about it. And that's kind of sad to think about because low battery, uh, I got a low battery on my phone whatever I'm gonna keep it going seems like Ryland spoke on Shane's behalf it backfired people hate it and rightfully so that's pretty much the gist of it not really much to talk about uh, I didn't want to like make this a 30 minute like oh my god this is why Riley Adams is terrible no um no he's a snake I mean how many other ways can I say a snake is a snake Water is water, snake is a snake, ball is a ball, light is light, down is down, up is up, earth is earth, air is air. That's kind of where I'm at right now. And I don't, I just don't see Shane recovering from this and that's kind of sad. He used to be one of the biggest names on YouTube and now even saying his name, trying to, trying to say his name in a positive light just gets you backlash at this point. And... They kind of did it to themselves, to be honest with you. All they had to do was defend Trisha Paytas and distance themselves from Jeffree Star, but they didn't. And that just kind of should tell you everything you need to know. Once again, it is Malcolm. That's me. That is Mr. Potato Head. He was my co-host for today. That is a Power Ranger head over there with a sweet bucket hat like me. That's also a subscription button up there. You should hit that thing because although a lot of y'all watch my videos but do not subscribe and I don't know why because I'm hilarious. Two other videos over there for your own free time. Without further ado, I wish you well. I wish you good health and I will see you again next time.